So previously I looked at the components, the layout and the clock. This time I want to go through the power lines, data lines and the reset circuitry. I've added onto here the header for the USB to UART converter, which now plugs into here. And handily this thing provides a ground and a 5 volt line, which is, has now been extended on the rear. So there is a 5 volt and a ground rail extended across the board. And from here I have extended connected in the ground and 5 volts of each of these chips. After I finished the power lines and then worked on connecting the data lines, these data lines run from a D0 to D7 and connect to the same pins on each of the chips. There are different locations but they should connect D0 to D0 to D0 to D0 to D0 and the same for each one. The other thing that you're doing is for a few of the lines that aren't used on the 6502 is to provide pull-up resistors on those pins. Now I'm using 3.3k quarter watt resistors which have been patched in here and then wired in on the underside down to the 5. The last thing I've done is I've got the reset circuitry in. So the reset circuitry has two functions, one when the power is applied, so when we, we plug this thing in, this is going to hold the 6502 in reset for at least the first two clock cycles so that it can initialize the processor. And also I've provided a small push button to reset while the power is connected. The 6502 has a reset pin on pin 40. This reset pin needs to be held low for it to be in the reset state. So we need to connect this to somehow our ground. I also want to provide a push button for the reset. So at the very least I want to connect a reset line here. So when this is pushed it pulls this low and then resets the 6502. But I'm also using a DS1813, which will handle both the push button debounce and holding this reset pin low when power is applied. So this is connected pin one into the reset line, pin three into ground and then pin 2 to the 5 volt rail here. So initially this will connect and hold this low and then after a minimum time period it will then pull this high taking the 6502 out of the reset. Whenever the push button is pushed the reset will go low, reset the processor and then the DS1813 will handle the debounce of this push, push button. So before next time I'm going to have the address lines connected up. So we'll need to connect nearly all the address lines from the 6502 onto the RAM and the ROM but there's few address lines that need to go to the uh, ACIA and the VIA and then we'll also start looking at using the uh, 74 logic down here to decode the addresses produced by the 6502 to address each of these chips individually.